Yeah, it is really, really beautiful. This is called a potted garden wall, something that you can brighten up your house with any wall inside or outside. It is really simple to make. Let me show you how it is done. So what we're going to do for the first part of the process is we need to uh, get down to Builders Warehouse and purchase our backboard wood that we're going to be using. I purchased a, a two pieces of pine wood. It is 1.8 meters in length, 144 mils wide and 22 mils in thickness. And I've got the guys there at Builders Warehouse using that great cutting service of theirs to cut it in half. It makes it easier to transport and also makes it easier when you get back home and you're going to work straight on it. The tools you need to complete this task is a drill firstly. You need two wooden drill bits as well. A 6 mil and a 4 mil, a pencil and you also need a tape measure. We're going to make five holes into our piece of pine wood. Two at either end, about three and a half centimeters off the ends and centered for our anchor bolts. And then to hold our holders in place, we're going to make three more holes. One in the center, exact center, and 30 centimeters on either side of that hole is where we'll put the other holes using the four mil drill bits. So let's get through that process first. Okay guys, time now to paint your wood. Because we're working with exterior elements, we need to use a very good quality wood primer first to seal it off from all the weather elements. So I suggest using a good quality wood primer and then let it dry for four to six hours before painting on your top coat. For my top coats, I've chosen a very, very bright color because I wanted to stand out. So I wanted to be different from everything else that you see. And for this reason, I've chosen a very bright red, signal red gloss enamel. Also good quality. It makes all the difference a bit later on. Well, with the primer all dry, now just time to put on that beautiful red enamel paint. So the next step for our garden wall is to mark out the holes for our back plates. Quite simple, 40 centimeters apart. Make sure you use a spread level to get that line nice and straight. So our wooden backboards are dry. Now time to install the brackets that will hold the pots. The brackets we're using today is 110 mil aluminum holders. This is for that 110 mil PVC pipes. We're converting that into our pot holders. You'll need to remove the existing screws out of them and we're gonna put washers and screws with bolts at the end of them. Quite simple and easy attaching that to our board. So all our brackets are in place on the backboard. Now time to put this up on the wall using our 80 mil nylon nail in plugs and screws. So you just put it through the board and you hammer it in place. Quite simple. Let me show you how it's done. Time now to plant these beautiful kalanchoes. They come in various colors. We've chosen as many as we could, orange, pink, red, and white. We're gonna plant it into these beautiful, beautiful terracotta pots. And the most important ingredient, in my opinion, is vermiculite. It's a naturally organic material that retains a lot of water, and especially on a hot summer's day, you don't want to be losing a lot of water out of these pots. So try and get vermiculite as your substrate soil that you're gonna be putting inside these pots. A handful, that's all you really need. Put that in there, in each pot, and then we're gonna to top it up once we've replanted these kalanchoes into the pot itself. They look so beautiful. Now, all you have to do is hang them and your job is completed. It looks so beautiful. Now all you have to do is do it yourself. 
get to boulders, get it done. Everything I used in this clip is available at your local boulders. For more tips and information, visit our website, our social media links, or check out our YouTube channel.